Alrighty, guess what we got here? This is an unboxing. And absolute first look at an item that I will explain the minute I've got it completely open. you go. Mmm, pretty nice. Do you know what these are? Well, I'll show you what these are. These are from fastflushem.com. Fastflushem.com. Right here. Fastflushem.com. What are these for? Well, you are seeing it the first time I'm seeing it. I found these on the old interweb, on the internet. I knew exactly what they were because I was sort of looking for another alternative product. Let me show you. I carry these right on the back of my cutting board right here on my boat. This is to replace this. See this? Let's see, I got another one here. This one is new. This one is old. And it's an old rusty. I don't even know what you call these. It's a piece of lawn and garden equipment. And it's got this spring in there because it's trying to hold the hose really tight so it doesn't bend. But I have to take it and I have to smash this down all the time. Smash it down so I can get my fingers in there. And it looks like crap. Well, that's what this is. This is a direct replacement for one of these. You may know that I'm really into spares. So that's the reason why I have two of these. Here is my flushing port for my 250 Suzuki. And the easiest thing to do is get one of these type of things like this and screw it in there. Now see I have to hold this back. Now I've smashed these a million times in like that to give me some finger room. And they go in here and then I attach a hose. So I have two of them because I always want a spare in case I lose one. I take this on the end of my garden hose, which is a in a valve system, right? And then I'll connect it to here. And then I will turn it on and see it how it holds it. That's the key fig that's the key situation here is to hold this from just drooping over and crimping it. That's the reason why you end up using this. And this is what I do every single day when I come home. I run my boat so much, I can't run it out on the, number one, I can't do it on the earmuffs because Suzuki has a low water pickup. So I can't put it in a tub every single day. So I just turn it on here. And there we go. And the water.
water's starting to come out. Right? That's how I flush it. And it does a pretty fine job. But I was just looking at and for something different than this rusty thing here. And that's when I found these. Now, the whole idea is this better than this. There's the water gonna come out. I undo it. I gotta get in here and smash this stupid little rusty spring because this isn't made for the marine environment. This isn't made for any environment where they would not put steel on here. So now, let's see how well the, the Fast Flushum, which is also designed with a Y, you can get this in a Y configuration to go into both for twin outboard applications. This should go in here very easily. It's kind of tight. I hope I'm not cross-threading it. Let's see. If I'm not cross-threading, this is first time right now. It feels like it's cross-threading to me. This should be able to go on here just like this let's you let's use utilize this as that maybe just because it's new now i was sent these to give a 100 percent no strings attached assessment of what i think of this versus this and if it's gonna cross thread, we'll know as soon as we put water on it, won't we? Then the next idea is that this goes on here. Is this cross threading too? No, that's going on. And be able to withstand holding the hose, which it looks like it is. Let's see the let's see the water going on it. All right. There it is. Water's going through. It doesn't really matter if some of it comes out there. There's full maximum running water through there. It's holding it. That is stiff enough and thick enough pipe. Let's take it off and let's see how good it does on my Merc kicker. That should be those threads right there it just looks like they're very they're much deeper threads all right so i'll put my plug back in so we're going to see how good it does on the merc 15 pro kicker all right here is my flusher for my little merc it's got the exact same thing that the suzuki has It just seems like those threads or those threads are very thick. So let's put the hose back on. Because this is the ritual when I come home from fishing every single day. This is what I do. Okay, still a little leakage around there. It doesn't really matter. That's not a big deal. The big deal is how easy and quick I can just put this on and take this off right here versus that rusty thing. So there you go. It works on my Merc also. And the whole idea is, like I said, I could actually have the Y. I could uh, hook it up. It's like a splitter. It's got this pipe going over, and then you put it in your second engine, and then we'll have this attachment that goes on to one hose and flush out both engines. 
I could do that too, but I just usually do one each single. All right, so there you go, and it seems to work. But I just want you to let want to let you know, I was sent two of these. Yeah, that just doesn't seem to go in there very deeply because I believe the threads, these threads are quite aggressive in this nylon situation here. But the main purpose of it is to keep it from just hanging over. See, if I took and just tried to screw this in, I could because this also swivels. I could do this. It's just really tough to get this in there. And then if you just take a hose and you try to put it in there, you gotta twist the hose. Everybody makes some kind of goofy attachment when something like this, which is pretty much the Rolls Royce edition of the garden hose variety. Been using these for years. I just wanted to see if there was something better out there. I would call this better, nicer. If you just like nicer things. It's just that these threads on here are just more aggressive and they might wear down. They might wear down. So it's a little tougher to get it started and get it in there. And this comes from a real piping company, you know, that puts these together. And I thought about actually having something like this made myself. So the minute I saw this, I contacted the individual and said, you know, I'm really interested in it. Sort of the unfortunate part was, is the fact that these were about 20 bucks a piece. And then the shipping. I wanted the shipping just to be really simple. Take two of them, put them in a priority bag from the USPS. But it came, let's see, I really screwed it in there. It came UPS. And to get these UPS, it turned out that about two of these were going to cost me over $35. I thought that was a little much when one of these is $4 or $6 at Home Depot. It is nicer, much nicer, but as at the same rate, that's the t my take on this right here. So I will put all the information in the video description below to the website because if you're wanting to get the one set up for twins, then this might be something that's really up your alley. A quick and easy flushing attachment that I use constantly to flush out both of my outboard motors. All right, so this is Captain Dave Sport Fishing, and uh, this is the Fast Flush'em. And like I said, they come in a Y configuration also. There you go. It's a quality product made by a true hose company. This is garden variety. I guarantee even in fresh water, this is going to, I'm just using fresh water and it's all rusty and it's really nasty looking. So there you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. All right. One thing I didn't mention is this is where I've always kept my flushers. You can see I got just one over here. Get home, I don't have to hunt them. There's the next one. I don't have to hunt them, I just reach up here, grab it right off of my cutting board. I got just a threaded piece of connector there. Over here, I got basically the same. So no matter what, what I do, no matter where I'm at, be it boat ramp, who knows where, I've always got, and even if I need to help somebody else out, 
I keep my flushers right here on the back of my cutting board. So there you go. Thank you.